Today we're going to be working on the dinette, uh, hopefully getting that all figured out in the L shape and uh, then we need to work on doing the kitchen area and maybe some paneling so we'll go to the store and pick up a bunch of product. Uh, maybe pick up some more things to finish off the pull out bed and uh, yeah, hopefully everything turns out good and we'll see you in a bit. starting to piece a few things back together um, this piece was salvageable all the wood was in some really good shape uh, so we'll take that door off paint that up as well the bottom cupboards uh, we're actually gonna do a different color than uh, the upper white cupboards so that's why I haven't gone ahead and painted that yet and we have cleaned up the fridge it's a pretty good working condition. It is missing a few knobs, uh, so we'll have to get those replaced. It's got some rusting paint peeling off down here, uh, but nothing I don't think we shouldn't be able to clean up and give it a fresh coat. But everything else is in good working condition. The upper ice box is still in really good condition. I skipped over us painting because I think you've already seen us paint enough for now. Um, I started unscrewing all of this around here so we can clean that up. However, we have one strip screw right there. And we're struggling to get it out. So, we'll figure that out eventually. But, for now, that's all. Alright guys, so this is the joys of working on old shit. Um, most of the screws were all Phillips, and then all of a sudden I come across a Robinson. So that's awesome. We took off all the windowsill pieces, or the trim, uh, that way we can clean it up. We might need to replace a few windows, insulate, and then we are working on the kitchen dinette area. Oh, a nice little L-shaped bench. So let's get this up out of the way. We're sick of hitting our head on it. Oh wow. Really dark. Give it a second to focus there. Uh, the bed is really squeaky old. We had all the cushions stored up there. So let's get it up and out of the way. Again. Trim we got. The support beam, wiring area, whatever you want to call it. So we got this area pretty much built, uh, obviously we still need to do some painting and uh, we still need to work underneath the bench and stuff but that is where our water tank is going to do eventually. Installed this guy to cover up our electrical. Turned out pretty good. Finished off that shelf. And we'll do the same thing across the top here. 
easier to remove if we need to get at it. Finish building in our L bench, turning out, turning out pretty nice. Slide it out and uh, be able to sleep two kids. We're all framed out for the stove. Let's do a final few touch ups and then we can test fit it, paint her up. here for the seat. here um, it's getting into fall so <laughs> we need to get this uh, Winnebago into the shop um, we've got this whole area primered and then we got some linoleum that we're gonna be sticking in underneath the bench all the way around uh, working on the kitchen area uh, hey guys done working on it for the night uh, starting to get dark early here in Canada uh, time change be coming up soon um, so yeah we need to get this thing into the shop ASAP but before we can do that we need to get uh, some clay back over here and uh, put some gravel in there so we can make it in that door because right now the way it is we can't uh, get in that door it's uh, almost impossible so next morning here and uh, yeah I thought I'd show you a little bit better how uh, bad our summer has been for wet weather this year it seems like it hasn't quit raining once but yeah I'm pumping this out right now and hopefully we can get some clay in here and uh, get the bus inside oh that's it for today guys so uh, we'll try a few different cleaners on the stove uh, we had a few recommendations that'll probably work a little bit better than baking soda uh, anyways thanks for following us along on our vintage RV makeover and uh, we'll see you next time don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, leave us a comment in the video if there's anything you think we should do talk to you later